Our unit running good. Still charging it up. Got about 13 pounds out of this one. in there so far. Got about 55 on my suction. So still got about 40 pounds to go. My supply our temperature down about 50, 57, 58. Got a new valve, e valve I put on there. Put the orange solder sticks on there and then I uh, went around it with some 15% solder. So now I can open and close this valve, no problem. That other valve was hard to get off. Especially since I was doing it by myself, I had to go get a hammer and try to get get it off but i end up burning it off yeah i ended up just having to burn it off it would not come off there was so much solder on there you see how it was stripped out real bad no, I never use uh, channel locks or pliers, not even a wrench. I always try to get a service tool because you'll strip these out. And uh, they'll end up rusting. See, see what happened happen there? These, these teeth on here, when, when, when you just, over time, or even it don't take but one time. It don't take but one time. When you turn turning these or you turn it the wrong way and it don't open up, you're gonna strip them out. So when somebody come behind you with their service rent, it won't fit on there. So please look out for your fellow, fellow technician and uh, do the service rent. You, see, you don't know what a service rent is, I'll show you. This. This is a service wrench. These service wrenches have multiple uses. But you see this? This stripped out is useless. Can't turn it at all. And uh, I even, I think I even script this one out. This is no good. But I keep it because I can use this in. But they would not, would not turn. I, I went and bought some vice grip. Bought me some Milwaukee vice grip. I want to see if I can turn it. Just show you what go go on on the inside. I don't even think it'll turn though. out bad but I was just gonna show you front seat and back seat see if you go all the way in this ball right here closes the uh 
compressor part of it. Then you put that valve all the way in. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Clockwise. Clockwise all the way in. This ball going to valve off. Valve off this. So, so, all, so all you would be exposed to is the compressor. Because all this is going to be capped off. So if you needed to change the gasket or something, you can take the bolts off and you won't have to recover all your refrigerant. You can just change the gasket or make any repair to your compressor. So you'll front seat it all the way in, cap this off, you have to recover only what's in your compressor, with the recovery machine. Like I say, you take these bolts off or change the uh, valve stem uh, or unload them or, or whatever you need, whatever kind of repairs you need to do. Change the oil out. But uh, let me see. But then if you backseat it all the way, pull this out all the way, it'll expose your compressor and your line. See right now, I can have refrigerant going to my compressor and my line. That's with it all the way out. So, then if you, like I got it, I got it cracked right now. So, when I crack it, just a little bit, it exposed this valve right here. I, I had a valve right here, but I used it for this. It exposed your gauges. So when you crack it, that's how you check your pressure or charge the unit up. Because all you're doing is, all you're doing is cracking it. But right now, it's all the way out. Because it won't move. That's it. Clockwise, the back seat it all the way out. And all you do is crack it. Now I just crack it and I expose this right here. I just crack it a little bit. But that's a uh, king valve. Pretty cool. But uh, like I say, never uh, never use channel locks for these. Please don't. Let's see if I can show one more thing. Sometimes these leak. You can put some cork tape in here. out too but it's easy to do this on the unit I can't get it off, but maybe I can soak it, soak it and try it later. But uh, this right here goes out counterclockwise. You can get some cork tape and just fill it. So you, so you the cork tape. 
and the duty. And you, like I say, you'll close this valve though. Whenever you have to do that. Let's see if I got some tape. This is cork cork tape here. This is your cork tape. So whenever your valve leaking right here, cause they do leak sometimes, or they or they'll leak right out up here. You'll just pull this all the way out and you'll fill it. You'll just fill it like this in there and and you'll just tighten it back up, thread it back up. Alright, Ace Mac people, I'm out though. I'm, I think I'm in this video. I don't want to make it too long. <laughs>